Hey, yo, fuck pigeons and planes, yo. Go to Gorilla vs. Beer right now. Nah. <laughs> nah, I'm fucking with you. Yeah. That one was tight as shit, right? That was so hard. I really, I want to do that one again. Most people named Peggy are usually like over 50, and it was a Baltimore nickname for a while, so I'm glad everyone else is using it for me now. It's cool. Growing up in Alabama, they would, yeah, people would say craziest shit to me all the time. People would call me the N-word like right to my face. I didn't have the knowledge to even argue that at the time. I was just a kid. I wasn't thinking about that type of shit. Some people hear the word crack on my record, and they get in their feelings. But it's just like, I've been called, I was called a nigga so many times in, in Alabama, like and throughout my life. I said crack on one song, and you can't deal with it for one fucking song. <laughs> and it exposes people, yo. This music is exposing niggas, and I, I, that's what I wanted to do. Now this shit reminds me of Over West in Baltimore. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. Me and my friends in, in Japan, we were like, you know how ASAP Mob had like ASAP Thai, ASAP Rocky. And instead of like ASAP, it was just Mafia. So one person was like PNG Mafia, one person was like TIFF Mafia, Dropbox Mafia, I was JPEG Mafia. I think it was humbling to go there and really learn about the culture of Japan and like see them in action and like it, it was nice. It was nice to shed all of whatever ignorant things I thought. Here in America, we don't really, they, shit from outside doesn't really come in a lot, but America's everywhere outside. You go like overseas, you see America like everywhere. Oh, he a bigger. Mm. Oh, you a biggin', huh? Oh, you a bitch. <laughs> Fuck out of here. Uh -huh. You get hit, you get hit. Oh, nigga. When I first started being really interested in making music was when I heard Diplomatic Immunity and I discovered what sampling was, which helped me discover a bunch of music, which helped me discover what producing, you know, production and all that. There's no real right or wrong way to do anything. And I think a lot of these dudes, especially the SoundCloud rappers with their DIY shit, are proving that to be true because their mixes all sound like ass and it's, all the songs are great and I love them. I want people to hear things and be like, I don't agree with that because I heard that all my fucking life and I had to, took me years to process it. And like, it helped me develop this like idea that people can think whatever the fuck they want. But I want people to know that their freedom of speech is not freedom of consequences. So like, if you say it, mean it. And if somebody comes at you afterwards, don't be mad. And music is kind of the bridge to me to like, all my friendships. It's given me something that I've consistently enjoyed since I was very young. When I put it out and to have people react to it like the way they do, it's, it's very, it's nice. It's, it's very good to work hard on something and have it reciprocated back to you because that's never happened to me before. JVEC Bobby is whatever people need it to be. For, but for me, I'm just someone who really likes music and really likes uh, creating and I'm glad that it's yielding results. I've just been working on more music and just letting the next album develop organically, trying to find new ideas, listening to things, just taking things in, enjoying the fruits of my labor. I worked really hard on Veteran. It's time to kick back, but I'm always making music. It never stops. Uh, Peggy, where you been at? Getting all this promo. When it comes to money, bet these niggas is a no-show. I've been out in bed, stop chilling.